Let's see if I can explain tarot cards to you really fast. My name is Lita. I work with tarot for 14 years now. Let's get into it. Just a quick note, I am not a native speaker, so be patient with me. Tarot cards are basically a divination system and here we need to cover divination first. Divination is, in fact, any irrational way to get information about any events in your life or in the world, uh, whether they have happened in the past or are happening right now or will happen or theoretically happen in future. So divination can address different sources. Uh, you can ask deities, you can work with spirits, you can ask the informational field or you can work with your own subconscious mind. All of this will be divination if you use such tools as tarot and many other tools that are considered magical or irrational. So, as I have told you, tarot cards are divination system. And when I say system, I mean it's kind of like a language where there are some rules and there is a structure. Let's dive into the structure and this is how you basically understand tarot. This is the structure of your tarot deck. These are the major arcana and all of these are minor arcana. These are two different categories. The major arcana are basically the big major events, life changing stuff, archetypes and philosophical and metaphysical concepts. So when you have a major arcana card in your region, uh, they are from zero to 21 usually in any uh, standard tarot deck and when you've got one of those you just know that something big is happening that this is the whole principle not just a single little event basically you can just use major arcana cards for your readings and abandon minor arcana completely and don't use them but if you want detailed readings if you want to know not just the big picture the big stuff but the details of it you'll need minor arcana minor arcana are here to show and indicate smaller events and smaller concepts and we'll get them in the reading usually more often than we get major arcana. It's just statistically more uh, likely to happen. And uh, when we use minor arcana in our readings, we give the reading a certain depth. Now what happens next is really clever. Minor arcana are divided into four suits and each suit represents a different, um, some people say a different sphere of life, but I think it's more nuanced than that. And it is kind of like a, a specific approach. Um, I'll tell you what I mean. Uh, the suit of cups represents emotional approach, everything that is born inside our emotions, our feelings and connected with them. Then we have a suit of wands and this is an approach based on pure will, on desire, on ambition and everything that happens out of such motivations. Then we've got a suit of swords and swords represent thinking, everything that comes from a mental perspective, everything that comes from our mind, our consciousness, our thought processes, ideals, etc. And every event that comes out of it. And then we've got a suit of pentacles and pentacles represent some say money, but in fact they represent resource and uh, money, of course, is a mighty resource, but also our health, our time, our connections, our knowledge, our um, our wealth, our material possessions, etc. Everything is a resource if we um, see it from the pentacles perspective. And uh, every event in our life that has something to do and is heavily based on resources can be represented by any of these pentacles cards. Now, inside each suit, we also have got structure. 
it um, is divided into number cards and uh, chord cards. I'll show you now. Number cards in each suit go from ace to ten, and as a whole, this line represents uh, the whole cycle, the whole way of developing uh, in um, a situation where we have a start with something that represents our suit. For pentacles, for example, it will be um, receiving of one single resource. And then the whole line of uh, number cards in the pentacle suit show us how it evolves, develops, and um, how it comes to this, to ten of pentacles. And then we've got court cards. Court cards are tricky ones because once they were simple, they represented people in our readings. But uh, back in the old days, the readings were done a little bit differently than they are usually done now and um, in those old systems of reading uh, we didn't have a problem when we saw some person showing up in our region we knew that oh yes it's about that person this kind of person etc now when we use positional spreads most often we um, have some difficulties because not every time a court card shows up in our region, we were asking about a specific person. We might have been asking about, uh, well, what should I do now? And a court card shows up. Or uh, what obstacles do I face now? And a court card shows up. And not every time now it will be read as... A person so now they are usually read as a role a social role so uh, court cards uh, show us an evolution from the start from the humble start uh, being a page and it is something who just starts out or an inner state a state of mind when we are open to all possibilities then it gradually evolves through the night stage when we are actively moving, actively evolving, to the queen stage when we've got a hang of it and now we can help others and actually use what we've acquired. And then it ends um, for this stage with a king which uh, shows a complete mastership of something which uh, shows that we've got full control over the situation we are talking about. So the four cards, uh, four court, court cards are in every suit. Now to finish it all and to complete your basic understanding of the tarot system, I'll give you a short keyword for every number card. So aces are about receiving the initial impulse, about starting something, something new. Twos are about different ways and approaches to choice. So on twos, we choose. Then threes, they symbolize start of production, start of actively doing something, a productive process which gets us our first results. Then we've got fours. Fours are here to show stability and stabilization of a situation. On a four, we, um, we feel a firm ground. Then we've got fives, and fives are crisis. Uh, the first crisis which we face when our inner stability and our first results face the real world and have difficulties with that, of course. Then we've got sixes. Sixes are harmonization and um, the process when we overcome our crisis, which we have faced earlier on the fives. Then we've got next crisis, I'm sorry, and uh, this crisis is a seven. This is somehow of uh, somewhat of an inner crisis, a crisis when we uh, need to rebalance something, when we are building 
complicated systems and when we need to balance the complications within us with the complications of the outside world and make it basically work as a system and we are able to do it and to finally claim it as ours at AIDS. AIDS indicate processes and patterns, established processes where everything has its own place and its own pace and about uh, working of the systems and pacing of the systems relationships with time if you may um, aids tell us then we've got nines nines are results completion like um when we've got the real um product of what we've been working on or the real result of our emotional mental process of everything we've been working on uh, nines are about results and then tens when we've got 10 uh, when we've got a 10 we know that something is truly finished not just completed and blooming with results but really really finished and ready for acquiring a next level for going to the next level and i know that everything that i've just told you uh, maybe is not enough of course it is not enough for a good detailed reading but it is a quick introduction to the whole system and then you can um, compare different cards lay them all in front of you and uh, analyze them deeply ask yourself some questions and think on it think about it and that is how you learn along with, of course, uh, consuming some tarot-related information. Well, that's all. That's basically a whole system spread out for you, really briefly, but if you are totally new, that might be a good start. Have a good day and probably subscribe to this channel. I may be posting something else on tarot, spirituality, witchcraft, books, journaling, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. So for now, that's all. Bye! A little treat for you for staying here till the end. Her name is Lipa and she's clearly asking for your like.